This episode of DNews is brought to you by Toyota. Hey guys, it's Trace here for DNews. I'm at CES 2014 in Las Vegas, as if you couldn't tell. We're at the Digital Health Summit brought to you by CEA and Living in Digital Times, and this is robotics on the runway. Everything from health robots to remote robots that help you go to work without having to actually be there. That wouldn't really work for me, but it works for a lot of people. And we're about to go talk to some of the people that help make these robots possible. So let's check them out. So I'm here with Melanie of Unbounded Robotics, and this is UBR1, right? Yep. Okay, can you tell us a little bit about him? What's he for? Okay, UBR1, or Uber1 as we like to call him, is uh, basically he's a manufacturing robot. He goes around and he picks stuff up and packs it into boxes and things like that, and he's designed for a lot of different things, so. He's pretty cute. Is he designed to, like, hang out with humans? Oh, definitely. This is what's considered a co-robot, so it's designed to work with people side by side, different environments. Okay, cool. So, like, in a warehouse, I could maybe send Uber One to go pick something up while I did something else. Yeah, definitely. That's kind of the whole idea behind it. This is as tall as he gets. Yeah. Um, what's like uh, his speed? What can? How fast can he do his tasks? Okay, so this robot can drive one meter per second, or it can walk about as fast as you or I can. So it can drive around a warehouse or something and get things and come back in a pretty quick amount of time. Does he run into people or can he spot them? Oh no, so the robot has a laser in its face so it can see people around it and it also uses the sensor in its head to detect people and never hit anyone. How long did it take to develop Uber One? Uh, we developed this robot in nine months. Nine months? <laughs> oh, he was born in nine months. All right, this is Paul. Paul, you're standing. I know, right? I forget how tall I am when, every time I get a chance to stand up and get out of that wheelchair. This is so awesome. How long did it take you to get to be able to stand up? Uh, well, this machine, the Exo's Bionic Suit, I mean, it's really got a short learning curve. Basically, if you if you fit the parameters and fit in the machine, you're walking the first day, so it's pretty cool. All right, so I'm here with Russ. Now, that guy just stood up. That's got to feel good. Oh, it always feels good. Seeing someone that's paralyzed stand up and walk, I mean, it just gives you a good feeling. How many people have you had enter the program? Well, since we launched the product in February of last year, we've had over 2,000 users stand, and they, those 2,000 users have walked over 4 million steps. Oh, man. That, that, just got, that has to feel just amazing to, to help bring that forward. How long did it take to, like, put together the product? Well, we've been working on this technology, actually, for about 10 years. Started as a DARPA program way back when. It was science fiction, and then we really started focusing on medical and launched the product two years ago. And now we're here with Paul walking the world's first runway. It's awesome. <laughs> I'm here with Ross from Orbotics. He's got a smartphone controlled toy that also looks like it's waterproof. Yep. So why don't you tell us about it? So this is Sphero. It's a robot ball you can control with your smartphone. It works on iOS and Android. There's a bunch of different apps that do different things. Um, our main app has kind of two modes. One is uh, Just Drive, which is basically like a free play drive. Another one is Level Up, which is more of a in-depth campaign mode where oh, you can cool. level up your robot. Do you get like points and stuff? Yeah, there's little missions that you have to complete and you get different points for uh, being able to complete those missions. Okay, and so why, why would you want somebody to pick this up? Is it just like a fun thing to do on an afternoon or is there a little more to it than that even? Yeah, I mean, Sphero is a lot of fun. Uh, there's a bunch of different games that do different things. Um, for developers out there too, we have um, SDKs in over 15 different languages. So if you wanted to get down and, you know, access our accelerometer, gyroscope or anything like that, we uh, allow developers to do that. You guys, we just saw robots rolling and walking down runways. This was pretty awesome. What did you think though? Tell us down in the comments below. Make sure that you subscribe for more DNews. Which one of these robots was your favorite? We'll see you next time. Thanks again to Toyota for sponsoring our CES coverage.